Yes, yes, yes. Check, 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 check. All right, yeah, let's get these summed in. We got this bass synth going in. We about to get this summed up together in a nice stereo bus. So Vic and Mary, you know, play nice together. So we're going to call this B and B. Send these guys out together. To nine and ten. Let's get these compressed together. sequencing going on this guy and then we'll finish it up and start a new one. sample not the filter sample and then kind of bring it to life like so <laughs> got this a little bit sequenced and not incorrectly but we're gonna refine it a little bit this needs to move forward that many bars shortens the song a bit it's all about feel
what's in here. Typical format. Let me make it ride a little bit. sections and I don't know about a bridge we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so to speak eek, eek, eek. <laughs> This needs to be the, let's see, this is where it needs to go to that B section. So what we can do is we can actually cheat. I tracked all this in live, so I don't really know how everything. It's going to fall. That needs to go right there, actually. Yeah. Dr. Dre reminiscent synth here. And then we'll go back to the filtered synth after that. And maybe a drum break out. Where are we at? That's three minutes and eight seconds. Oh, this is a short song, but it don't matter. We we not we not trying to build out the whole joint. We just need the idea. So yeah. Let's see how this feels right here, and then we can play a little bit over top of it figure out what elements we want to add next. <laughs> Thank you. 
hate keyboard strings. I mean, I don't hate them. I'm not going to say I hate them. I don't hate keyboard strings, but man, the old school bootleg days back when I had like Miroslav Philharmonic, East West, Quantum Library. There was some real good sounds in there and a whole lot of bootlegging going on. But nowadays, I try to stay legal. You know what I mean? Trying not to, trying not to bootleg, because I realize there's people that put a lot of work into these things, and they deserve to get paid too. Even though that might not necessarily be. Ugh. Ugh. rather do like a little I got a little patch I made that emulates a Selena. Let's see if we can get it going. It doesn't really emulate a Selena. But I mess with it a little bit and kind of get it sounding close. Needs a little bit more phaser though. Probably dial this in, but yeah, boy, that's P Funky, ain't it? It ain't quite the, it ain't quite spot on, but shit, that's close enough. Mm. That's it, man. Just two notes, bro. Oh, just a subtlety of this whole thing, man. That's what I love. All right, let's Selena that in there. Yep, here we go. Oh. Shut up, Pro Tools. Telling me what to do. Sample is cool. I can keep it, but I can do it better actually. That's sick. Yeah, sample, then sample filters. So let's get this down here above the drums. Actually, I like my drums to be way up here and the keys to be down here. And eventually, we'll get some bass going on here. Bring it in, like right here.
right. Yeah. That'll do. All right, we'll let it ride now. Play a little bit more with that. <laughs> Scratches over top of that. I'm not even about to take the time to sit there and set up the DJ station right now. That's going to be that one. Now, as the great Swift Beat said, it's on to the next one. But before we do that, we're going to have to listen to some tracks, figure out what it is that we want to hit up. So, let's see. Let's mess around. See what mood I'm in. Thank you. 
big shout out to the people on Facebook just checking it out right now. I, I ain't really got the ability to see. Actually, I just set it up, so now I can see what y'all saying. So shout out to Quentin. What's good? Y'all see Chris? Place with CCR. That's what I just said. Place with CCR. Yeah, this is just for the catalog, bro. We just finding a way to, you know what I'm saying, get through this quarantine, man. It's finally taking an opportunity to actually check some shit out, to build some new stuff, to make some new stuff. I ain't feeling that mode yet. Mm -hmm. That's raw. That's raw. I don't want to give everybody away all my samples, though. Oh, you know what I'm going to do tonight? Tonight we're going to do a very well-known song and see if we can flip it in a way nobody's ever flipped it before. Now, that's a tall order for something fully impromptu. But that's exactly what we're going to do. So one of the songs that's been used quite a bit is this song. Everybody knows this song. Oh, yeah, everybody cinnamon, knows this. Where you going to run to? Cinnamon, where you going to run to? Where you going to run to? All on that day, will I run to the rock? So everybody knows that song. That's like an 11 minute song almost too, so I'm not about to go through the whole thing. I'm going to go straight to one specific part. That if I can see, if I can remember it off the top of my head. Heard this, I don't know, probably about a month ago. And I was like, yo, there's a chop in there. But I'll see if I can find it again. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Kanye for finding this chop, because that was... That was beastie. So you can't touch that, because that's been touched. go to but that's not it oh yeah oh it's coming up oh yeah it's coming up right here right there that, that little small tiny section right there is exactly what we about to target so we about to do a master class on chopping basically the new school way. Let's set it up, see if we can get our inputs right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get the thing queued up here. So we're just gonna pull up the session here. That's good stuff right there. And let's set it up. Oh, 
So let's go ahead and chop it up. This is the crazy thing about, uh, I say this every time I get on here, but man, I'm telling you, machine is just crazy. I remember doing this back with the NPC, and it was just insane amount of time sitting there chopping everything up. But we're about to chop this whole thing up. If you know what you're listening for, we can do it in 10 seconds. That's it. That's it, and we're done. And we can adjust the individual chops later, but for the most part, I usually hit them on time. So, boom. Check out our group. Change the pad mode. Everybody needs to be on one. Hit that joint on 127. And... That's it. So that little bit, we're gonna see how we're gonna flip this. So the first con first consideration is tempo. How do I want this to, to lean? And I think it needs to lean slower. Let's see. Maybe. to be on one. Um, let's tune this down. There it is right there. So we set the tempo. Mm -hmm. So around that point. That's around 95. Yeah, we'll go with 95 right now. Yeah. Give it a shot. transfer this over to Pro Tools. All right, here we go. Set the pattern to be, it's really only like one bar for right now. And then we'll get a little bit more complex later. Let's add some EQ to it.
So if you listen, you can actually hear the... Let me isolate it. You can hear the bass line that I was going for. That's in there. There's, that's the song right there. So now we got to give it some drums. I'm feeling like this actually might need some... Might need some more trappy sounding kind of stuff to it, but I don't really mess with too many kits. I'm picky about my kits. I don't like to get stock kits, but I got some that don't sound too bad. Let's see. Let's go to these guys here. That'll do for right now. Layer it up a little bit. Let's get some back into some of my custom kits a little bit.
right. So at this point, this point, this point, pretty much all I can do in machine. So this is one of the things about um, the workflow between machine and Pro Tools that I kind of get annoyed with again, is that the way that it works, it's great for if you're trying to compose and chop your samples. But when you get it in the Pro Tools, you just lose a lot of that functionality that I was just doing that. You lose like all of it because Pro Tools is the master and machine becomes a slave. So you're not able to control Pro Tools as effectively with the machine. So for instance, if I wanted to sit there and just add in a part with machine, I could just hit restart and boom, I'm back to one. Pro Tools, I can't do that. All right. I don't know if my boy Red is in here. Right now, but he said he wanted to hear some shit with the uh, the Behringer. The Behringer here. Let's do a little something with that. So let's get this bass going. Once again, we got to get out of here and get into Pro Tools. So let's get out of here. Let's save this as. See, once again, this is... This is a Nina Simone sample from a very well-known song called Cinnamon. And it's all about being able to reimagine and re-envision something. Make it into something. That's what hip-hop's all about, right? Turn it into something. Turn it into something. Turn it into something. Get in Pro Tools now. Once again, shout out to everybody who's up on Facebook checking it out. I wish I could see those joints popping up in real time. I can't. I got to, like, actually go on Facebook and look at it. Shout out to Scott Bird. Big Mike. I got y'all. All right. Let's make a new session now. Cinema. I don't know how many of y'all out there are some I need some I need some bass on this. I need some bass players on this guy. What did we say that was at? Did we say that was at 96? I think we said it was at 96. Yeah, here we go. So then we got to get in the machine, and then we got to open up the session, and then we got to link it up and get it at 96. It's just not too much to complain about. It's all about workflow. I don't like things slowing me down. And this slows me down. All right, now we can check out this mode action we got going on.
This is the mode right here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a mode. It's a Behringer Model D. Let's get some bass going. we got going on. So we're going to go ahead and track in this MIDI. Let's see, we're going 96. That's exactly where we need to be at. We're going to go ahead and track in this MIDI, and then we'll be able to kind of mess around with this bass part a little bit. Let's give it a quick four-bar loop. Then we get to just play with it over here.
oscillator. Check this in just for right now. All right, that's gonna give us our bass. So now we can kind of mess around with this MIDI. We got this MIDI freed up, so we can do a little something, something with it. Let's see what we want to do on top of this. Somebody said they wanted some trumpet on this. I think it might end up happening, actually. I might end up hearing some of that on here.
Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to take that MIDI file and kind of mess with that a little bit because I want to refine this row sound. <laughs> Echo on here. I actually want to send it to a phaser first. Actually, after before I send it to a phaser, I want to send it to some harmonic overdrive. So let's hit off. You're gonna hear the sound change. saturation gritty it up a little bit I'll send it to a phaser this one ensemble let's get weird I'm more like a guitar now.
Getting weird, ain't it? That sounds good. Now we got to round it out with some reverb. Got yourself a soundscape from a Rhodes five note lick. That's pretty fly. And that's just one part of the song. Let's get that bass back in now. Let's with the sample a little bit. in it now, so we need to get it back in there. If I had a guitar player right here, I'd get some acoustic guitar, just some, some strummed up acoustic guitar right here. Meantime, you can relax and chill and listen to this joint because this is all right. So let's track that in there. Oh man, that Rhodes. Well, it used to be a Rhodes now. Who knows what it is? It's a custom made, beautiful soundscape. Is what it is. That sounds cocky, don't it? I'm really not. It's really not. It's the music. I give all praises to the music. So now we got that echo roads and we can print that basically. Echo roads. Echo roads. And the lightning strikes. Random country song reference. Ain't nobody gonna get it. <laughs> That was my input monitor.
Sí, pues bueno, aquí no tengo ningún motivo. Pero... That's good enough. Now we get to track that in there. So this is where the actual feel of the song kind of starts to come in. So we've already got our layered elements. We got the roads kind of rolling out. That gives us the feel that we need. So now what we get to do is we get to copy that a bunch of times and jam a little bit. Same thing with this guy. And typically I started out about right here. That's our basic format right there. Just do a little key change in there just so that if we want to use it for the bridge, we can. And then we just repeat that about, I don't know, six times or so. And then we can build over top of that. Let's see what we get here. I imagine this song starting about right here. Get the keys down here close to where they need to be. Now we completely forgot about the fact that we got the, uh, we got this bass in here. I have no idea how that's going to sound with that bass, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, don't quite see what we got. We'll have to mess with that a little bit later, but in the meantime, let's just go ahead and mess with this.
don't like all that buzz. That's what the sample does. It gives you a starting point, something to go off of. You hear something, you think it's a dope chop, and then you make something out of it. Atmospheric elements to kind of make this actually sound like it's something dope. We might actually go with some horns. We'll see. I might be hearing some trumpet in this. Yeah, let's go ahead and track in this random key, random key situation. going to call this I at
there. I don't get you going. That's all right. So that's it. That's the whole song. Three minutes and fifty six seconds minus the ten seconds of lead in. So that's pretty spot on for a low key, heartfelt uh, movie out kind of song. So let's give a little bit of synth in there. Probably be the first right there. Uh, I'm to make that slow. Let's go with MIDI. Let's go with MO2. Sorry, we'll call this one bass synth. And we'll call this guy lead. And all these guys that were on the bass, we're going to move them on over to this guy. And This one, let's get a little bit modded out here. All right, we'll let the beat ride while we zone out. Let me zone out right here.
we're going to track the MIDI now, and we're going to be able to kind of mess around with that lead sound a little bit more once we get the MIDI tracked. But it's all about feel, man. You know, this just ain't about eight bar loops. This ain't about four bar loops. Once you get your general structure, man, I, I go, I go with feeling. basically. off with this delay a little bit, clouding up what I actually want to hear. How much glot is in there?
a little bit lower in the mix. You'll hear how smooth and sexy that is. Quarantine a little bit better. Let's get me through mine. We can get through this. Some cool music to listen to. I'll holla. Bob out. Bye.